driving any kind of car you want, like anything you could desire, as long as it's blue, and you're going to get part of those payments paid for, maybe even all of them. That's what I'm going to share with you today. Hi, I'm Katie Sevenance. And I've been a Sunagents independent distributor since 2002. And I have been a Senecar driver. Ooh, what, how many cars am I on now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years in a row. Currently, I'm driving a Bronco that is so much fun. It's a Bronco Sport and it is bright blue. And I absolutely love it. Before that, I had an Audi that was blue. And before that, I had a Ford Escape that was blue. So you can choose any kind of car you want, as long as it comes in blue and blue is in the title. So today I thought what I'd do is kind of walk you through how you can earn the Senna car, the trophy on wheels. Now, I heard it described that way once. I'm like, I already have a car. I don't need that car. What I can tell you is that when you are driving a Senna car and people ask you about your car, it's a way to open the door to your business that says, hey, I'm not just a little hobbyist. This is my career. I work my business and I'm driving a car to show it because I work hard. It is not something you get free. You do have to do the work. It doesn't always have to be hard work, but you need to be consistent at it. And you need to know what are the things you need to do to get there so that you can earn the car. So let's just walk into the back office. I'm going to show you in my account and hopefully I can answer some of your questions. The program, by the way, has changed several times over the last, oh my gosh, it changes frequently actually. So I just want to show you, this is my um, back office and the way, let's go up to the rules first. And hopefully this will change. Okay. So this kind of explains what you need to qualify for the car and to continue earning the payments for the car. Now, in some companies, when you earn a car payment, you have to drive a certain kind of car. And if you don't earn the qualifications, that car gets taken away from you. Can you imagine somebody coming up to your house and saying, um, excuse me, you didn't sell enough this month. I'm taking your car. That does not happen with Sunagents. If for some reason, and I can tell you last month, I did not earn my payment. And I will explain why I'm being perfectly honest. I did not have enough sales on my first line of distributors, the people that I personally sponsored. So instead of somebody coming and taking my car back, I just don't get the reimbursement that month. So then my whole car payment is on me. So it's much better if you continue to build your team and work with your team and help them to grow their business as well. And then everyone benefits. So let's talk about how this works. And um, it's based on a rolling three month time period. Number one, the first thing, okay, so let's just go through this. You have to be in good standings with the company, so no compliance issues or anything like that. And then you have a signed management, management's agreement, which means you're an on-track field leader. You agree to abide by the management rules. And there are certain restrictions that you agree to abide by as you get up into the upper management levels within the company. And so that's something that you'll sign anyway for recognition in a lot of the different programs. Uh, and then you have to just demonstrate your ability to maintain your status in the car program, which is you'll, you're going to see that below. All right. So your personal sales must be at least a thousand PV for three consecutive months in which you're qualifying for. So they're going to look at your last three months. That's the first way of qualifying. You have to have done at least a thousand PV personally. And that can come from kiss and tell orders, online orders, your own personal PV. So they will count a thousand PV towards your car payment or to, to earn the car. 
All right. So you have to do that for three months in a row. If for some reason you're you're on the car payment, all of a sudden one month you didn't place a thousand PV. That's a reason that you wouldn't earn it that month, even though your team sales was up higher. Right. So you need to make sure you personally hit that qualification of a thousand PV every month. All right. Then we have your downline eligibility. Oh, it's funny. Why did I move it to this computer monitor that's way over here? Try and get it closer so I can read it bigger. That's a mess. My desk is a mess. Nothing new. All right. So um, let's see. Your downline sales eligibility, tier one. So there's three tiers to this. We used to only have two tiers. This is so awesome because you get a little bit bigger payments. Well, you could earn $1,000 towards a car payment. Uh, I could drive a car that's a $1,000 car payment. That would be fun. Um, and you get to keep whatever leftover. If you've qualified all three tiers and your car didn't cost that, you still get to keep that money. All right, so let's look at this here. Tier one eligibility. You have to accumulate a combined total of PV which is qualified sponsoring bonus a okay they this needs to be rewritten a little bit um qualified sponsoring bonuses and or first line qv again qv is like why because nothing else uses a qv it's downline pv but um it's your qualified v <laughs> I should probably cut that whole part out because that wasn't very good. Anyway, from orders on your first level downline equal to, here's the key. So your first level, the people you personally sponsored in the business, you need to have a rolling three month total of 22,500 PV in the same three months that you also did your 1,000 PV. That's how you earn the first level. The second level, you need to have qualify for the first level. So you've done your thousand plus your first level is equal to 22,500 PV in a rolling three months. And your second level, you need to have a rolling number of 27,500. That's your PV on that level. And that includes the bonuses. That's where the Q comes in there. Uh, and then you can earn your level three by having your first, second, and third level, but <clears throat> excuse me, your third level needs to be 30,000 QV, downline PV. So <clears throat> it's all in the same rolling three months. All right. Um, and then once you hit that, and it looks like, oh my gosh, I, and I wouldn't, in my opinion, I wouldn't apply right away because you wanna make sure you can maintain that for a little while. Once you're in the lease for three years, you want to make sure you're hitting those numbers. So, um, and it does grow. And if you're focused on it, it will continue to grow. Always be sponsoring and always be helping people with their orders and um, helping them be successful. It's not like, like there was an issue with a trip once where people were just signing people up and getting them to pay, buy an order. That's not going to help you earn your car. It's not going to help anyone do anything. And that's not the way you want to build a business. So this is by when you're helping your new team members create a solid business where they're selling, they're talking about products, they're recruiting. That helps everyone on the team to grow and hit their goals. All right. So then this just explains what you have to turn in, all the paperwork that you need to turn in. So you get to go pick out any car you want, as long as it says blue in the title. Now, my um, Audi that I had it was a fun little race car. It didn't say blue in the title. It was called, maybe it did. It was Midnight Blue. It looked almost black, but because it said blue in the title, I got to use that car. You don't have to have a bright blue car. Any shade of blue is fine. And if it's blue and doesn't say blue in the title, just send in writing your request that you have a car. Here's a picture of the color and the title doesn't say blue. So right now you can you can do that. All right, let's see. And then here's what you get. And if you hit your first level of qualifications, you'll be reimbursed $275 that you can cash goes into your bank, you into your Senate account. 
And then you, so you pay your lease agreement and Senegens reimburses you based on what levels you've earned. So the $275 goes into my bank account. I pay the lease. My lease is more than $275 for my Bronco. Um, I'd really love to earn the level two qualification, but I'm not there yet. So then for if you earn level two, you get $325 towards your lease every month. And then level three is $400 towards your lease. That is $1,000 that you can earn towards a car payment. What kind of car could you drive for $1,000 a month payment? <coughs> so anyway, um, that's how it works. And this just goes through um, a little more details. <clears throat> so again, you're just continuing to accumulate a combined total of the allowed personal volume, your 1,000 PV, uh, any bonuses and your downline commission equal to the, what was it, 22,500. So you have to maintain that. Uh, let's see, um, each consecutive month, Right, three months in a row. There you go. And this is just pretty much what I just told you. Okay. All right. So, um, that's really the first place I would start. Uh, there is a limit on how much you can count per person. Here we go. Here's where it is. Um, the combined point value PV earned by your downline distributors, which you may use for this purpose of qualification and maintenance of the car program is restricted in the following ways. You may only use a maximum of 4,500 PV per distributor on any level per a rolling three months. So say you have a superstar on your team and she puts in 4,000 PV a month, I can only count her for 4,500 per quarter for the three month, the three month rolling quarter. So just because you have one person who's a superstar does not mean you're going to earn the car because you are capped on how much you can count for one person, which is really a great, um, what would you call it? Like a safety line for you, because if you're relying on one person to build your business, if that person changes their mind or they decide to do something else or they they get sick for a month and you were relying on them for everything to build your business, you're not going to have a business. So you really want to build a solid foundation. My recommendation is sponsor as many people as you can, as wide as you want to go. Hundreds, 300. Joni told me once 300 people on your first level is a good number to typically earn a crown princess recognition. That means a million dollars in sales on your team in one calendar, one uh, seminar year. So think about that when you're building your business. If you only have five, six people who order on a regular basis, you're probably not going to be at the car level. But if you can start sponsoring and building those first level and they in turn build their first level and they build theirs, that's how you're going to earn your car payments. And if you earn your car payments, you're on track to earn the um, Senestar trip, probably Lips trip, um, Inner Circle in sales, sponsoring and team. So those are things that you really want to look out for and count and keep track of. So you always want to make sure that you are hitting a total. For your first level of 22,500 PV in a rolling three month period, and you are ordering or accumulating at least a thousand PV every month, right? So that is like my bare minimum. Um, it's been a while since I've only been a thousand PV, but that's another story. All right, so that's pretty much your qualification, and that's the same with level two. Uh, you may use only a maximum of 2,000 per distributor on any level. Um, a maximum of 2,000. And then you have a maximum of 6,500 on your third level. Uh, 6,750 on your second level as well. You may only use, you may use only a maximum 
of 2000 QV per distributor on any level per month, right? So if somebody did 4,000 PV one month and 1,000 PV the next month and 4,000 the next, right? You can only count 2,000 PV per month with a total of 4,500 in a rolling three months. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so that is that. Um, frequently asked questions, and this is in your back office. If you go on your distributor dashboard, and go down to the new Senna car requirements. That's going to explain for you, um, you know, any um, frequently asked questions, the, all those rules and all the legal ease. But the main thing is what I just said, a thousand PV a month for you and 22,500 a month in your first line in a rolling three months. Just make sure that it's the main thing is sponsor a lot of people and help them build their business. Uh, let's see. The qualifying email says I only qualified for tier one. I should have qualified for tier two as well. Um, the current interest in leasing does not have blue in the name. Generally, the answer is no. However, some manufacturers do not have blue in the name. We recommend you submit the name of the factory color the make and model to send a car program and they'll review it. Uh, let's see what else. I'm not currently able to lease a car even though I qualify. I don't know. There's no, yo, you don't earn. That's the other thing that that comes up a lot. People say, well, I qualified this month, but I didn't ever get a car. Do I get the payments anyway? No. You have to have a signed lease agreement, be leasing a brand new car in order to receive the car lease reimbursements. I know that's come up a lot because a lot of people don't want to, maybe you're not ready to commit, but you don't get the payment if you don't. So this is an incentive. It's just like our lips trip or sun of star. If you don't go, you don't get the reimbursement. Uh, yes, you have to be the one on the lease. Um, can you get a 48 month lease? And Senegens just pay me for 39. No, you have to have a 39, a 38 month lease. 39. Um, the MSRP needs to be 25,000 or more dollars. That's pretty easy these days. It means you need a new car. Uh, let's see. I qualified for tier one and tier two two months ago, but I have not leased my car yet. Now I don't qualify for tier one. Can I still lease it? and pay on my own until I do. No, the program is for new leases only. If you lease now and have to wait to requalify, your lease will no longer be new. So um, just read through these frequently asked questions anyway. And then um, in your report, when you look at your report, it's gonna tell you um, where you are right now. So looking at my report, um, my personal sales in March was 4,500 PV. My first downline, my first level downline was 16,800. Um, tier one total QV, the qualified amount was that amount. Tier three, ooh, tier three, I had some in there too. All right, so that tells you you need a thousand minimum. If you haven't hit your thousand minimum yet, so here's the month I didn't earn it. Um, so I'm starting over, right? My three month rolling qualification is starting now. I have a bonus because I had somebody sign up and place their qualified order in their first 30 days. So you earn a bonus. Actually, you get a bonus if they do it in their first 90 days. So that's part of the qualifying for the car. That QV is qualifying PV. So the 300 counts towards that. Um, Tier two qualifying, that's how much I have on there. Here's me. So tier one, this always shows you how much you need to go. So it says for my tier one, I need a thousand eleven hundred more PV on my first level. And it can't be anyone who's already done 4,500 or more in the last quarter. My second level to earn it, I need 18,000. And if I want to earn my third level, I need 27,000. So I have a long way to go on levels two and three. If you were to go back, and look at the uh, rolling three months. Here's February to April. 
and it tells you what you, well, that's weird. No, why it's not changing. Is it? It's not changing. I don't know why. All right. So this is the rolling three months. So you can look at that and it will um, tell you where you're at. And then it also tells you your downline, what everybody's done. So anyway, that is how you earn the car. So the main qualifications, it can be any car you want, as long as it has blue in the title, or you have to request a special request. If you have a car you want that doesn't say blue in the title, uh, you need to personally be doing a thousand PV a month regularly. And um, that's like your minimum. So a lot of you are at this point, you're like earning the inner circle. If you did that, just bumping up some of your numbers a little bit, you're going to help get there and then work with your team. So if you are a thousand PV times 12 months, that's 83 point three 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 thousand so if you want to hit um what am i trying to say one thousand times twelve no that's twelve thousand so if you wanted to hit inner circle which many of you have done already if you did two thousand pv times twelve there you are you're in inner circle so that would be a good goal i would say make sure like my minimum which I didn't do last April, um, PV from the company because I had a lot of product I sold from my own inventory. That's where it gets a little challenging because you want to hit your PV through the company, outside orders, your own PV, whatever. Um, if you were to do 2000 PV every month, then you're going to be an inner circle and you're going to earn your qualification for the car, your per personal amount. So then you want to help your downline. So if you look at doing these numbers here 22,500 divided by three so you need an average of 7,500 pv every month from your downline and you can only take 2,000 pv per person so you need at least one two three four at least four who order 2,000 pv a month or 20 people who order way less than that, right? So um, I really think it comes down to the numbers. Instead of just trying to find a couple big sellers, is sponsor the masses, as Leslie Boy Bradley always said, sponsor the masses, develop the stars. Really, this comes down to just helping people order for themselves, a handful of friends, placing orders for themselves. If you found a lot of people doing that, versus one or two that sell like crazy, you're going to have a more stable, solid foundation to your business as well. That's what I've got on the car, earning the car. Let me know if you have questions and um, thanks for watching. Get out there and sponsor. If you need help, let me know.